now let us go back to the sap and see where to configure this wedge type if you see the configuration navigation path it is same just go all the way down to personal management in the personal management you go to personal administration and in the personal administration you go to basically the payroll data because this is the payroll data right this is the payroll data under the payroll data you uh, you see basic pay why because you are configuring these wage types for info type 8 right you are configuring this for the info type 8 now let us go and create the wage type before even i create the wage type let me tell you like this section is only for the basic pay right this section is only for the basic pay if at all you want to create the wage type for like i told you there is info type 15 additional payments if you want to create any wage type for that info type then you have to go and select this particular uh, img node and create the wage type so every section here has its own wage types to be created so no, it's not like that the wage type which you are creating uh, creating the basic pay will be reflected in the additional payments no never each info type has its own set of wage types. so let me again login back so this session got killed okay so i am logging back here okay i put spro to go to the configuration i am going to the reference img i am going to personal management i'm expanding this going to administration expanding this going to payroll data now payroll data will have all the payroll uh, related info type configuration like uh, basic pay this is for info type 8 additional payment if you open the additional payment <coughs> the waste types which you are configuring here is basically for additional payments which is info type 15 but I, I, at this moment we are focusing on info type 8 so let us open this uh, uh, node here and go to waste type now i am expanding the concentrate on this particular section because waste type creation is very important even in the real time projects and if you are a beginner if you are learning sap hr so this concept is really important for you so i expanded basic pay i went to waste types this is the area where the waste type will be created now first thing what is it create waste type catalog means sap has provided you a catalog of model waste type i told you in my slide there are some standard waste type which you can use and copy your custom waste type let us see how so i am basically executing this this screen comes up it is telling please choose a method i am tell i am telling the system i want to use a copy method because i want to copy the model waste type hit enter this screen will come see it is showing info type 8 basic pay why whatever the waste type you are creating it is basically permitted for info type 8 reason is because i will go back because you are under basic pay so that is the reason why i told you whatever the waste type you are creating here are only belonging to this particular info type 8 now let's create the uh, custom waste type i am searching which waste type i should select from the model okay oh yeah this waste type it looks similar to what i am trying to create so this is custom uh, this is a model waste type now i want to create a custom waste type so if you see this column this is column original waste type means this is the model waste type it's the original waste type this column if you see is it the customizing waste type this column is custom waste type now you enter some number 8009 and give a name like zenith salary uh, i would say wage type something you need to give the name and this is the short text this short text whatever you are giving here zenith uh, salary wage type this short text will appear on the payslip 
so this short text is always uh, used when you want to show this on the pay slip because if the employee want to see uh, okay what is this amount then he will know oh this is my wage salary okay so that is indication on the pay slip so this is the short text this is a long text so now once we enter the uh, custom wage type number after entering the custom wage type number uh, you are giving a basically a text which is a long text and also you are giving a short text now the second step here is make sure that test run is activated because you are not cre creating a wage type at this moment you want to first check when you basically uh, copy the model wage type into custom wage type are there any errors coming or not so you want to first test it so after giving a number description short text what i am doing i am telling copy why i want to copy this waste type to this waste type i want to copy this m m010 to 8009 so i am telling the system copy and i want to keep this test run activated because i want to see if there are any errors let us see i am clicking on copy when I click on copy, it says errors zero. Great, there were no errors. And secondly, if you see these tables will be updated because you have copied the model waste type, right? So all the tables where the model waste types were stored, those characteristics will be copied to your custom waste types. So all these tables will be updated for the custom waste type. You can go and verify. Now, when you see the errors are zero, now go back and then remove the test run from here because now you actually want to create the custom wage type now again go and copy because previously when you copied it was test run now this is without test run i mean you are actually creating a custom wage type now i hit the copy here again at this point the system is prompting a request because during the test run this box uh, uh, prompt didn't came because that was a test run but now we are actually creating a waste time it is coming as a prompt i hit enter again that screen will come where you see the errors are zero great you have created a waste time successfully now go back and then say okay i want to exit because i have created my waste time perfect i exit now you have created a waste time now there are some steps you need to follow and also make sure whether you know the waste type is properly created or not let's go one by one after creating a waste type you want to see whether this waste type has been basically created for this basic pay or not because we are creating this waste type for info type 8 right now go and click this node which is check waste type group basic pay I am clicking on this. Now you see here waste type group is A, which is info type basic pay. Search for your waste type, which is basically 8009. Oh, yes, great. It is showing up. It means it's successful. Now go back. Now you have to see the characteristic of those waste type, whether the characteristics are right or whether you want to change the characteristic. What I am doing, I am opening this particular check waste type catalog. Now, just follow the steps what I am following it, okay? See this video a couple of times and then do it practically. What I am doing, I am clicking on check waste type text. First thing, because I want to see whether the text whatever I have entered while creating the waste type, is it showing or not? Click on this and then click on position because position is where basically which shows you uh, uh, how to search the waste type 8009 so now let us see whether that waste type is there oh yeah this waste type is there and it says the waste type number the waste type text everything is there right so what does it means it means the text is been created successfully right now you can go back if there is any change in the text here you can definitely change the text here that's the reason why i always say if you want to do any changes 
then you can go here and make the changes that's the reason why sap has given you like you know option like the moment you create anything you can go back uh, to those table and uh, make the relevant uh, changes okay now go back here the second important thing here is that base tab characteristic base tab characteristic is very important click on this and search for your base tab 8009 now see yes your base type is there here now you want to see the characteristics what is that characteristics i will tell you here it means this waste type is it a deduction waste type or addition it means whether is this waste type used for deducting from employees paycheck or you are giving something to employee no 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 we are adding to total because this is salary you cannot deduct it so that is the reason why i tick mark it add to total okay what is this input combination it means if you press f1 it will show you what are the different combinations of this waste type allowed you will see this amount number in info type 8 that is the reason why it is asking the characteristic because these characteristics are really important for info type 8 because this waste type whatever we are creating is o, is specifically for info type 8 so these are the different combination whether you can enter amount and number or amount and number are optional or whether you want to enter only number not amount so these are the different combination which i have given here i meant amount is essential number is optional so these are the two characteristics i am using in this particular screen now the one of the important thing is here this is indirect valuation of waste types what is indirect valuation indirect valuation means in info type 8 do you do not want the user to enter the amount for the waste type you want the amount to come automatically directly so that user should not worry about the amount here the moment uh, user enter the waste type amount should come by magic i would say by magic automatically he should see oh where is the waste type is coming from amount just to give that amount coming automatically is indirect valuation means the system is validating indirectly back behind the screen not on the front end it is calculating everything behind the screen and that amount is populating on the info type 8 so user will i mean he he or she will not be worried about the amount because it is coming automatically so this is some of the parameters which you need to make a note of the parameter here is first thing is indirect evaluation module the name of this is tariff don't get confused with this module name with the feature tariff i have seen many consultants freshers they always get confused even in the interview when i ask they say oh this tariff means feature no this is separate this is indirect evaluation module name sap has given so many module names but i am using tariff why to indirectly evaluate what i am evaluating these are some of the uh, variants i am using the variant b i'll tell you why i am using the variant b so that it will be more clear i am using the mod variant b good it says this is basically a uh, tariff and this is basically a uh, module variant which is b what it does if you enter these two parameters here then it will take the amount from a table which i will show you now and then update the info type 8 just concentrate on this one what i have done i have entered the module name tariff and i have entered uh, module uh, module name tariff and the module variant as b what is rewritable it means whether you can overwrite the you know the base type, base type amount. so if you see here it says this option specify whether or not the amount or number or unit base type fields may be overwritten so whether you want to overwrite or not it is decided by here 